Hi everyone, this is Laura Jackson from Discovering Dyscalculia. I wanted to give you a quick definition of what is dyscalculia. Dyscalculia is a learning disability. It is often diagnosed um, as, quote, a specific learning disability with an impairment in math. Oftentimes people get confused. Is dyscalculia a certain type of math learning disability? Uh, the answer is dyscalculia is the term we use to refer to having a math learning disability. Similarly, we use the word dyslexia to talk about having a specific learning disability um, with struggles in language. So dyscalculia is a learning disability. I don't love the term learning because I think it makes us think this only happens in school. It only infects people when they're learning when in fact dyscalculia impacts one's entire life. Um, it is not something that you grow out of. It is not something that goes away. It is something that impacts students and teens and adults. So dyscalculia is also a neurological difference. This means it is a difference in the brain, the part of your brain that processes and cal calculations and numbers. It's firing differently. So dyscalculia is not um, something caused by lack of education or because you're not smart or because you didn't have a good math teacher. It's the way you were wired. It is often hereditary, meaning your family members could have had it, or sometimes it's developed in really early infancy. Dyscalculia, how many people does it impact? Well, it impacts more than you think. It impacts about 5% or more of the population. They estimate somewhere between three and eight percent. So another way to think about that is one person of every 20 people you know is dyscalculic. In the classroom, that looks like one to two students in every classroom. So it's a lot more than you imagine. I hope this helps a little bit for you to have an idea on what is dyscalculia. To learn more, check out my website, discoveringdyscalculia.com.